Hello, my name is Matthew Bonnet. With me is Jason Sloan. We're with Cohort 15 of the Guildhall. Today is January 24, 2011, and we're going to be showing you RB underscore Prismatic Actor. We're going to be using the December 2010 version of UDK. Essentially what this component does is it limits the actor to a single line. So it's good for making sliding doors or something that you only want moving on one axis. So you can see we already have our little setup here. Uh, let me close that and zoom out a little bit. You see we have kind of a gated door right here. Here's the wall and it kind of slides into the slot here. You can see it a little bit better up here how it's going to work. We have the little niche carved out in the wall and a little one here as well. Okay, so we already have our static mesh in the wall. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a K actor instead. We're going to need something that reacts to the physics. So we're going to right click and open up the static mesh. I'm sorry, we're not going to open up the properties. We're going to go down to convert. I'm going to convert static mesh actor to K actor. I know it runs off the screen, so the one that says convert static mesh actor to K actor. Right, so now this is going to react to physics, but right now it's going to move any direction that we push it in. So what we want to do is we want to constrain it, and we're going to use RB Prismatic Actor to do that. So we're going to open up the content browser, we're going to go to Actor Classes. Um, alternatively, you could go to View, Browser Windows, and Actor Classes. We're going to scroll down and we're going to expand physics and you'll come down here and you'll see RB underscore prismatic actor. You can either drag and drop it into the window or you could right click, drag and drop, uh, right click, add RB prismatic actor here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the gate. Uh, the component doesn't have to be on the gate but you can see this red line on it. That's showing what axis the gate is going to be working on. So what we want to do is we want to have that facing the same way that we want the gate to be moving. So we just open up the rotation tool and we want the gate to be moving in that direction. All right, so we have it in place, but they're still not connected right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our actor component and we're going to open up the properties window by pressing F4. Alternatively, you can right click in RB Prismatic Actor Properties. We're going to be concerned with the first tab here, RB underscore constraint actor. And we're going to go ahead and lock this. And we want this constraint actor one to be filled with our actor that we want to be constrained. So we're going to go ahead and click on our gate. Now that we have it selected, we can go over here and we can hit the green arrow and that inserts the selected item into the slot. Okay, so now we have that actor on the one line. So we're going to go ahead and close this and play from here. I'm going to switch to my physics gun and if you right click, you can slide out of the way or you can shove it using the left click. Alright, now let's say that we wanted a spring on this gate so that it wasn't Right now it's just kind of sliding on its own. It seems as if it's broken. So what we want to do is we want to add a little spring to it. So we're going to go ahead and go back into our properties window and we're going to expand linear, which is under constraint instance. So constraint instance linear. And we want to check this mark, sorry, we want to check the box by linear X position drive. And so what that's going to do is constrain and add these variables to the gate. So it's going to be constrained to linear drive spring, which is at 50 right now. We're going to go ahead and lower that to, let's say, about, uh, let's go with 5. And also the linear drive damping of 1. That should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and play it and see how it reacts now. Now we'll grab it, and we can open it, and then it goes back automatically. Open it, it goes back automatically. It has that spring in there. All right, that about wraps it up. You can play with those numbers as you like. Have fun with it.